Hello and welcome, Holly here. And you are watching Floris, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband. And you lot have spoken. You want to see the return of the Ashen Empire. And you will see it. So, let's break down what has happened. For a long time, and I mean a very long time, Angrol has been fighting for Swadia. Mostly due to his efforts, Swadia came back from the brink of extinction to conquering the entire land. And after all that, it seemed to be kind of wasted. All of his efforts were wasted on Lady Eyes Sola, on Swadia. So now he is breaking off just to live on his own. But Lady Isola has seen that as an insult and now a new war is about to begin and he has to undo everything he did. And yeah, it's gonna be a mess. So, factions. <laughs> let us go, let us go, let us go. I've been thinking about this. Significant group of enemies spotted near Dirim. That sounds ominous. Wow, I can't even go to any of these places. Okay, let's get to Dirim. Quick. In fact... It, it begins, it begins. Tulga, Dirim, Sono. Those are our territories. <laughs> We're actually not called Swadian rebels. Hmm. You know what? As much as I wanted to be called the Ashen Empire, I don't know if I get a chance to rename. Interesting. Oh, rename your sovereignty. Oh, okay, here we go. So everyone wanted Ashen Empire. You have Ashen Empire, baby. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. I can change titles. How will your male vassals be known as? <laughs> hmm, maybe Phoenix? I'm all for ideas, so if anyone's got any ideas for titles, let me know. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Modify my noble banner. Let's have a look. We've always been this. I just want to have a look. See what options we have. See if it's time to change. That's a phoenix, isn't it? Kind of looks like a phoenix. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's a phoenix. Okay, yeah, we've just changed our banner, because that was a phoenix. This here. But let's just have a quick look through all the options, see what there is, just in case. Just in case we decide to change. Another phoenix banner there. Although I kind of like the one we just picked.
logistics is what we're doing. Logistics. Get them done. That's got to be a phoenix rising from the fire, but it's kind of a crappy banner. That's kind of a neat one, but that could just be like a hawk or something. Okay, I quite like this one. So is there anything else I can change? Change your party's name. Change your party's name, okay. Phoenix Company. I wonder how that works. Yay, Phoenix Company. Anyway. Anyway. Let's have a look. Is there anything else we can do? Take an action. Okay. My friends, it is time. There are some things I need to do, and I'm going to explain everything I'm going to do now. I'm going to make Lesolets, even though, so I'm kind of wary about this because Lesolets, Mafeld are troopers. They are monsters, like absolute monsters and I can take control of them and I can use them as commanders and I can fight as them you know what I mean but I am going to need I, I'm gonna need vassals I'm gonna need lords and you know people that can fight for me so It's like, do I do I give give up my commanders in battle, giving me that extra chance of winning a fight by being able to continue as someone else, or do I send them away to help me build up an army? And I have to be very careful about the troops that I take out of here because I am limited, but we will need. Let's have. You know, I have been doing all this and you can buy acres and you make money from it. But I wonder, would I be better off doing that? We'll look after, we'll look after. I know what I'm talking about, but... Oh, and I guess that my arm is going to be a little insane, like size-wise, because of my increased renown and honor, but... We'll make do with... Let's begin. First things first, my lands are getting raided. I didn't need to do that, but you're not going to raid here. If you go back to raiding, I will kill you. Consid Let's go. Archers, get up on the hill. Villagers, hang back, hang back, hang back.
Let's go. Come on, archers. Kill them. So, yeah. The fight... Well, the war begins. I'm going to need lords on my side. I have none currently. Maybe some will join me. I do not know. I can build a grand army though. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time around Sunno. What we'll do is because I've got my relations so high with those villages, we'll just continue to recruit. And I should be able to raise a massive army that way. My archers are probably my biggest asset at the moment. That will help me in this endeavor. Reinforcements. Very good, very good. So the first part of this war is going to be to fend off their initial attack. So they're going to start raiding all of my villages because all of their lords are basically at full strength with a lot of numbers. I need to bring them down. After that we begin the counter attack and start taking territory. I'm going to build my army. I also need to recruit more troops so yeah. I do wonder if I should look to invent and one of the things that I'm worried about is having to pay for every single piece of territory, having to garrison it myself. That's going to be a bit too much. Also the question is, are my allies going to betray me? We, I've known them for a long time, but if you think back to my Warband series, I had my own companions leave my faction, so... If I lost Lesolitz or Matheld, I'd be pretty devastated. I also should bring in the other companions into the fold. Start leveling them up in battle and then eventually make them lords. Hmm. So far this battle's progressing rather well. We're doing doing okay. We're still surviving. We're hanging in there. So 
obviously they're protected when they get this far. Bit of an oversight on my end. I could probably back out and restart this fight though. Question is, is there any need? The enemy's only going to run up here and get shot down. New enemies have arrived, okay. There is a need. But we've almost completely decimated their troops. Go quick archers. Go quick. Now fire. Okay, March is in position. Keep the enemy dead. Don't let him get up to you. Perfect. Stragglers in the village, hunt him down and wipe him out, cavalry. Release the elephants! village is secure, but there's going to be others like this one I need to go and help. And they've escaped for now, but... Okay. We need to head to Sono. I need to start building. Yeah, now I need to recruit Swadians manually. People of Swadia. It's me, Angrel, you know me. I'm here to protect you. Well, I can't really protect myself. Let's go, let's go. Okay, the village has been liberated. Keep my honor up. Recruit anyone that joins. Even though they're going to be low rank, I'm going to start leveling them up. This is going to be very important to me. Like I said, I've got room for 400 people. Also, with all this, I'm wondering if I need to look into... See, I can recruit... Oh, two rank... Okay, well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but that will do. Okay. Sono. I guess Sono is the capital. We could move it to Durham eventually, but right now Sono is where it's at.
Now I'm curious, I know about this in other... Of course, Your Highness. Um, so the profit made from these isn't that much. Whether or not it's even worth doing this, I don't know. Like, even if I had... So the way I look at this, even if I had a productive enterprise set up in every single city, it's not even going to come close to paying the rent of, say, Sun Oak. Let alone all the other castles, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. We will take a look at this, though. I am looking for new gear. Armor for my Phoenix Guard, for my Lords. A lot is about to change, so we need to be on top of this. But for now, we'll leave it there. Join me again next time. Until then.